I'm here with Karthik and Murli who won his second round game. Karthik, uh, today you played this two nights tango, uh, yeah. something different. Yeah, actually, uh, my opponent didn't have any games in tango, so I just want to surprise him in the opening so that he will uh, lose some time and I can beat him in time. That's my main strategy today. And he actually consumed a lot of time yeah, in the opening. The opening he consumed a lot of time. I mean, he didn't uh, know the opening, so he has to think a lot. And then he made some mistakes, so that gave me win today. Were you surprised with the move A4 from White? It's not surprising because he, uh, I felt it, it is the only move. Otherwise, I will play Why A4. Why not B3? And, okay, B3 I was uh, thinking like A4. Then he has to play B4 if he doesn't want to ruin the structure. Then I will play B5. The problem is the D5 pawn will be very weak after that. Yeah. So that was the idea to yeah. attack the light squares. Yeah, that's why he has to play for that. He played it eventually. So that's the correct move. And uh, going into the middle game, do you think there were any critical moments and some calculation that you did? Uh, actually, uh, when, he, when he played f3, uh, I felt that that was a dubious move because instead of f3, he could have played e4 there. The point is that uh, after e4, then he can play f3 and close the position. I don't have enough minor pieces to attack in the king side, so that's his only chance. Instead of f3, e4 is the critical move there. And uh, another getting move was that uh, when he played rook d4, that was a mistake. Uh, instead of rook d4, you can play bd4. The, that could have given him some chance. At least uh, that could have given him like some counter play. Rook d4 just lost lost the b2 pawn, and then eventually uh, the e3 bishop was very weak. So I think uh, these two are the ma main critical moments in the game. So when he played bishop d4, were you planning to play uh, rook f7 and repeat the position after bishop e3 or what was your plan? What would you uh, do? Actually, uh, I was thinking like uh, I'll repeat once. After that, I will just uh, think what to play there because he, uh, he just have to ga gain time. So after bishop d4, I was thinking like uh, rook f7 and uh, bishop e3, let's suppose, let's say, and then something like... Uh, uh, queen e6, something like this. But uh, it's not so clear. He'll play rook d5 and right. he'll have some compensation there. Right. Yeah. So that was critical, but he played rook d4 and after that, yeah. you just cleaned up the pawns, mm. queen b2 yeah. and yeah. queen a3. Okay. And uh, in this tournament, who do you think are your uh, toughest competitors? Because you are the fourth seed mm -hmm. and uh, you are definitely one of the favorites. But who mm -hmm. do you think are the strongest players? Uh, actually, this tournament is not so easy. Like uh, even if you look at the 10th seed or 11th seed, they are like 2500 and 2500 above. 10th is Arvin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's say like uh, above 15. Let's say. So they are like 2500 and above. So it's not so easy to pick uh, some a few players. So again, to me, every game is the important game. So I will just focus on uh, each game. I don't uh, like uh, I won't uh, prepare especially for the player. So I just uh, prepare for that room. That's all. Yeah. So what do you have to say about the young Iranian players? Because they have been playing very strong. They they were part of the Asian Nations team. Mm -hmm. Now they are also part of the Olympiad. Yeah. Maksudlu, Firuza, Tabatabai. Yeah. What's your opinion about them? Um, okay, sudden, they they are not they didn't uh, rise constant like uh, it was a sudden rise for them. Uh, like uh, let's say uh, from suddenly from two five five zero they are going to two six five zero like this suddenly. So this rise. Uh, the, the main thing I feel is that uh, the cloud engines, like uh, the advancement of technology, these things, uh, like uh, it, help, it helps in the opening, preparing the openings. Uh, so uh, if, if you use that, it is like you can understand the chess better with those engines. So uh, with the help of that and with the help of your coach, it's, it, uh, nowadays, nowadays it's easy because uh, you have so many coaches around the world. So it's not so difficult to reach this stage. So it's, it will be a motivation for all of all of the youngsters. Yeah. So you think technology plus right coach can yeah. help you to move very fast yeah, in course. chess? Yeah, of course. Yeah, if you uh, if you if you are uh, if you pick the right coach, then it will be like very easy for you. Yeah. And and in your case, you are training with uh, GMRB mm. Ramesh. Yeah. And anyone else whom you train with? Okay, now uh, uh, up to now I don't train anyone. I have only RB Ramesh sir. So. Uh, maybe uh, you will like uh, invite some GMs for some training camps, that's all. Uh, not uh, mainly it's a uh, measure now, up to now. Yeah. And, and 
talking about yesterday's game there was this very nice uh, move knight into f7 yeah. did you prepare that or uh, on the board oh it was on the board like when i played knight e5 i was calculating these variations uh, even instead of knight f7 before when i played uh, knight f3 the, uh, there also i can click knight f7 there that's what, that was also interesting but uh, he had some tactical resource like knight f7 king f7 knight f3 queen g4 s3 queen f5 I was thinking this g4, knight g4, knight g5 check. He will play king e7, h and g4 and queen e5. If he doesn't have this move, I, I will keep the queen on the board and I will attack. But queen e5 forces the exchange of the queens. I have to play queen e5, otherwise uh, the h2 is made. So queen e5, bishop e5. Okay, this position is also good, but compared to the position what I play, this is uh, very less compared to that. So that's why I chose the knight of some variation there after knight of 3. So that move was uh, like I calculated when I played knight e5. Well, this yeah. is the reason why our viewers really enjoy our, yeah. your interviews, your long calculations, yeah. these deep ones. Uh, uh -huh. Wonderful. So, Karthikeyan, uh, six, uh, nine more rounds to go. Yeah. Uh, good luck for that and yeah, thank you. Yeah. play your best. Thank you.